Raya Khamis Elabri has her mind set on something very special. Every evening she's here at Sultan Kabu Sports Complex. 13 Paralympic athletes are practicing in this specially designed ground at Sultan Kabu Stadium. And of course, as you can see, the athletes are preparing for something very special and they are heading to Korea. Oman Paralympic team is gearing up for a major event, Asian Para Games. It's an event held every four years for athletes with physical challenges. It is held immediately after the Games for the Able Bodies. And now let's meet the President of the Paralympic Sports Committee right here in Oman, Mukta Arawahi. It's a pleasure to catch up with you and to see all this action that's taking place and the athletes are all set to go. Uh, what are the thoughts? Because it just started in 2010, this whole movement. Well, well, we're very pleased to get our athletes ready for the Asian Paralympic Games, which is, uh, inshallah, will start on the 12th of October, the opening ceremony. And these guys have been working very hard in athletics and weightlifting. And uh, they are in training camp, as from yesterday, trying to really get their, you know, numbers up. And I'm really pleased, and they are pleased as well, as you can see. Now, of course, uh, you got this official uh, approval to move on, but there is something more that you're looking forward to, and that's the support from the community, not just from the government. Yes, this is very important. I hope all the private sector can uh, realize that the Paralympic sports is a very important part of a person with disability to be able to participate in the world international standard sports and go and uh, represent Oman in a real important uh, Asian Paralympic Games. I mean, they are working for Rio 2016. That's what they are hoping to be, inshallah, 2016. Thank you. Ryan al Mujaini is an engineering graduate and works at Sultan Qaboos University and also you're an athlete. Um, when did you start all this? In 2010, I joined uh, the Baro Olympic teams. Okay. And you didn't know anything about the three, discus, shot put, javelin? Nothing. You started from zero? Yes. And how did you know, and how did you have the confidence that you have the potential? Mm. Who encouraged you the most? My family and here, uh, coach and my friend also. Mm. And so here you are, you've been participating in many events now. Yes. Um, the first one in Tunisia in 2012, and the second one in Bahrain, GCC, and I won three gold medals. Three gold medals? Yes. Where? In GCC, Bahrain. Okay. In 2013. Okay. And last one in Faza Championship. Okay. And Sharqa International Championship. Uh, two bronze medalists. Fantastic. You are truly a star and we are proud to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ryan is definitely a star and athlete that everyone could take an example of. The journey for the Paralympic Committee in Oman began in 2010 with just one athlete doing the three sports. We are talking about the javelin, shot put and discus as well as one weightlifter. Today, they're going as a team, 13-member team. Along with the athletes, we're also going to be seeing the weightlifters in action. Esam Al-Balushi is the coach. Esam, are you set and the team set? Yes, I'm very happy for this. And oh. we're getting ready for that para, para Asian Games in Korea. <clears throat> so we hope that we will get, and I have one of uh, my athletes, Khalid Al-Balushi. Mm -hmm. He is very close to qualified for uh, Rio 2016. Khalid, uh, when did you start weightlifting? I'm starting now. It's been more than uh, 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. And he's close for Rio. Yeah. His number is very close to, to qualified to Rio 2016. Okay. And we hope that he will get that number. And for them, uh, it's going to be uh, first time? No, for Badr, no. this is... For Asian Games, this is his for, for him his first time. Yeah. 
but uh, he participating now this is the third time that the international competition wish you all the best all of you and so they're going to be with the coach three um, weightlifters yes. and so the athletes are getting the final touches and before they head for Korea they're also going to compete with each other now it's time for us to follow each one of their actions and performance and really meet up with the heroes really close October 14th is the day they are going to head out to their destination Lakshmi Kothanath Reporting for omanobserver.com.